Eastmont on the road at Moses Lake Friday for a battle of first place of the Big Nine. The Mavericks would score first on their first drive, a nine-yard touchdown pass from Brock Clark to Kaler Capel Baker. 7 nothing to score. Eastmont hands the ball off to Colby King. He finds the own zone from 10 yards out, ties the ball game at 7-7. Punt situation for Moses Lake. Prazier gets through, blocks the punt, falls into the arms of the awaiting Josh Leonhardt, and he rumbles 36 yards, gets into the end zone. It's 14-7 Eastmont early in the second quarter. The Wildcats would force a punt, get the ball back, and then hand the ball off again to Gunnar Peterson. The tailback for the Wildcats would rumble 73 yards, get some great blocking over the left side, and then just run away from everybody on the big touchdown run. 21-7 Eastmont on top at this juncture of the ball game, But late in the second quarter, the Mavericks would get a drive together and would find the end zone as Brock Clark would hit Joel Middleton on this 13-yard touchdown pass, 21-14 at this point. The Wildcats get a great kickoff return, sets up a 25-yard touchdown pass from Luke Gale to Adrian Ruffins. They go to halftime, 28-14 Eastmont on top. Wildcats would have an inadvertent whistle call back a touchdown run of 80 yards. That sets up this field goal from 28 yards by Edgar Leon, makes it 30 31-14 in the third quarter. Fourth quarter we go. A blocked field goal opportunity for the Wildcats to even extend that lead more would give the ball back to Moses Lake and they would cash in as Brady J hits Maddox Gwynn on an 11-yard touchdown pass that makes it 31 31- 21, Eastmont on top. Fourth quarter again. Here we go. It's Brady J, the freshman, hitting Kyson Thomas on a 38-yard touchdown pass. That makes it 31-28. Moses Lake not done yet. They get a double pass, get it down to the two, and then it's Brock Clark who takes it in, gives Moses Lake the lead. Eastmont looks like they're going to be done. Moses Lake celebrating. They think time is out. No. Eastmont had called timeout before the play with four seconds left in the game. So here we go. Thanks to Wildcat Football for this reverse angle, it's Luke Gale. He's connecting with Adrian Ruffins on the tip ball from 56 yards out and with no time on the clock, the Eastmont Wildcats pull off the amazing, incredible Hail Mary pass. Watch it again. Luke Gale throws it down. It's tipped by the defender at the five-yard line. That's where Adrian Ruffins is. Let's listen and watch from the end zone. <laughs> Thanks to parent Gary Travato for the cell phone coverage from the end zone. And you can't blame him for being a little excited here. Yeah, he's in! He's in! Let's go! Eastmont wins 37-35 the final, and they will host Richland on Friday night in a crossover game to get to the state tournament. For NCW Live Channel Sports, I'm Eric Granstrom.